Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 45. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to find the Java driver name and version. This slide talks about the problem and the solution. So the problem scenario is very straightforward. We want to find the Java driver name and version. Uh, with every uh, major release of DB2 and even fix pack uh, releases within the uh, uh, a particular fix uh, within a particular major release multiple fix packs are available so uh, in the bundled fix packs also the java uh, driver uh, versions will vary uh, so usually the db2 java drivers are on only like a bundle of jar files or zip files uh, most pr most likely you should be using either db2 jcc or db2 jcc 4.jar for jdbc applications and if you are doing a sql j application then you should be using sqlj or sqlj4.zip the solution to find the name and the version is very simple the uh, jar file or the zip file themselves contain a particular class file uh, which you can just execute like any other java program with the option hyphen version so if it is a db2 jcc uh, application then you can uh, use com.ibm.db2.jcc db2 jcc class file so you just need to execute this class file like any other java program with the option hyphen version similarly if you are using a sql uh, zip file for your application like sqlj application then the class file name is sqlj.tools.sqlj hyphen version so let us just uh, quickly demonstrate this with uh, a few example actually so here i need not start the instance or anything like that Okay, the command is very straightforward. Java hyphen class path. I'm giving the uh, path where the db2 jcc dot jar file is there, and the class name com dot ibm dot db2 dot jcc dot db2 jcc hyphen version. That's all. It's very <laughs> simple as that. Okay, no complications at all. Okay. See, it says the ibm db2 jdbc universal driver architecture uh, version is three point six. 6.46 okay so similarly i can give a different uh, this thing also if i'm using jcc 4.jar right so then i can give uh, that also so this should be ibm data server driver for jdbc and sqlj 4.16.53 that is the version of it okay so this much is so the first one uh, is for i think jdbc 3.0 uh, version and the second one the jcc4 is for jdbc 4.0 version okay and uh, similarly you can even find for sqlj okay i'll just run both the uh, thing in one go okay so you can see that see ibm sqlj 3.66.46 if i use the 4 version then it is ibm sqlj 4.16.53 that's it right it's very simple okay and another uh, interesting thing to note uh, here is you can use the jcc uh, class file to even test your uh, jdbc connection say right now what i'll do is i'll go to instance one okay and i'll start the database okay uh, i'll start the instance sorry okay and what i'll do is see here i am using jcc 4.jar db2 jcc class file i'm executing with the option see here hyphen url and hyphen user and password so it will establish a connection itself so it's like having a sample program already built for you right so you can just directly give the url give the username and password check for the connectivity right so the the instance is started okay so i can just go run here very quickly and i'll also show you this okay so db2 list applications sorry list <coughs> active databases okay so you hit enter here and i'll come here see the database became active okay and now the database is not active so it was briefly activated right so which means that uh, see test connection successful so this particular db2 jcc program has you know uh, done a temporary uh, connection to this database using the username and password that we supplied 
and it is connecting to so it is saying uh, all the server details and what was the driver that was used and from what is the OS uh, uh, you know the OS Linux version and everything okay so that's it in this video tutorial hope this was useful information to you guys uh, thank you so much for watching please subscribe to my channel db2 lw academy see you in the next video tutorial until then thanks bye bye